I received a call yesterday afternoon from Councilman Shadid, who had a problem with a connection from an international flight and was in Boston and was not able to make the flight connection to get to Oklahoma City. At that time, he told me that the only way he could get to Oklahoma City was to expend $4,000 and drive tonight at night back from Dallas. He very much wanted to be here when we did this. I told him that I would advance – I told him I would advance his request for a continuance. And I guess the first thing I'd want to know is from the city manager, from your standpoint, from the city's standpoint, is there a serious problem with the deferral of item G? Oh, we discussed that at the detention center yesterday. Right, we did. On to the program, we're looking for direction to go forward with it. So that's an item out there. We've had a fair amount of process from multiple presentations at council workshops and a presentation a few weeks ago. You know, it's a 10-year program on this. We're anxious to get going on it. Two weeks, you know, is not the end of the world on the program. It just seems to me that if we have even one council member – we've talked about this earlier – that has made all kinds of plans to be here and is unable to do it, that just as a matter of the kind of civility that we've operated under the past several years, that we ought to do it. And when there is no real – other than anxiousness, there is no other real overriding concern about letting everybody be here and have their time at the microphone. But I do think, as I said earlier, when we're – this is – this and the decision about the convention center are things that are going to – they're not – they're not one-week-long implications. They're not one – they're not even 10-year-long implications. They're 50-year-long implications. So you look at where the – what the decision that was made to locate the civic center – I mean, the – what is it now? The Cox. See, I always – I have to remember all the different names that things have been. But it's – the Cox Center, that's a 50-year-long decision. And it was a good decision. So I'm not as concerned that we enter some kind of a slippery slope with regard to continuances because I think all of us would resist continuances just for the purpose of delay. But I think if there's a valid reason, like someone has made every effort to be here and can't be here, I would take that – maybe this is something beyond what I should say, but I might take that personally. And I'm not sure I wouldn't take it personally. If I had made a phone call and said, for reasons out of my control, I can't be here, to me that's different than just saying, somebody, I want to continue because I want to try to figure out – I'm trying to love it to death. I want two more weeks in order to figure out how to beat it, or I want two more weeks – which I would plan to use that two weeks for that purpose to some extent. But that's not the reason. I know, but every one of us has missed a council meeting where we wish we'd have been able to be there and vote on something. I mean, that's not unusual. I haven't. Okay. Well, you know, I think that – 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 I think